Okay, this tutorial will tell you all about um, alpha channels, transparency maps, and uh, how to use them. Um, I'm just going to Google Flywing, and I'm going to download this picture. Now, you notice that this is a rectangle, and I want to make it a square. I'll explain later why, but it's handy. So I'm just going to go to view image, download the sucker, Let's see. Uh, uh, where's my default project? Hang on. Uh, default project. And I'm just going to uh, put this in texture. Uh, I already have it, but I'm just going to save it again uh, like this. And I'm going to go over to Photoshop open it up let's see uh, let's take the right one now I want to make this a square first uh, make sure that the background color is white and we're just going to go to image canvas size switch this to pixels and I'm gonna switch this one to 1596 and I get this image. It's basically the same, but at least it's square. Now, what we need to do is um, use the uh, magic wand and put the tolerance down to 14. So when I click this, I separate the wing from the background. I just selected the background right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a new layer and make this black, completely black. So I'm just gonna go to edit, fill, use the foreground color, and it's black. Um, just make a new layer again, deselect everything, and just fill this with white. Uh, that's the background color. Okay, switch these. Now, first of all, I'm going to save this. Save as a JPEG. And I'm just going to go over the one that I already had, which is Flywing Mask. I'm just going to make these two invisible and then save this one save as JPEG and save it as fly wing All right that's it next thing we're going to move on in the next chapter to cinema 4d to explain the difference between an alpha channel and a transparency map.